Would you like a chicken farm that works beautifully in Minecraft 1.16.3 and earlier versions too? I'm going to give you two choices, one with lava, one without, item sorters included, don't you go anywhere. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good night. Welcome to another episode from me, Avamance, in my Minecraft 116 farm tutorial series. Today, I am doing an update. Minecraft 116.3 is here, and it was only here a couple of days ago as I record this, and we are gonna update one of the farms that actually has very little to do with the nether. However, some of you have said that the chicken cooker that I did for Minecraft 115 snapshots back in September has got just a few little glitches. Now it's in 116. So I fixed it. I'm going to make this farm for you in two different ways. One with lava and one without lava. And you need to decide which version you prefer. The one with lava has fewer drops, but you don't have to use any fuel. The one without lava you get all of the drops, but you can chew through coal. The one without lava is a little bit bigger, but they both work really well. Just make a decision which one you'd like. I'm gonna do both versions right here, and I'm gonna give you a world download at the end. This is being made in 116.3, so make sure you load it up in that version. It's for Java. We are gonna start with the no lava version. This is the one that's slightly more complex, a little bit bigger, but it's definitely a choice, so let's get on with it. First off, get yourself a double chest. Open up the back and put a hopper into the back of it. Get a smoker and shift click a smoker on top of that hopper. Then put a hopper into the side and shift click a barrel on top of that hopper there. Get a temporary block, pop it right there. Put another barrel on top of that temporary block, exactly like that, and then you can get rid of it. Then get yourself another hopper and slip that into the top of the smoker, exactly like that. You are part way there. Now we're gonna put an item sorter into this system. That's because this is gonna drop both feathers and chicken, and you don't wanna get the feathers cooking in the smoker, it'll just gum it up, so we need to get an item sorter. So to do that, place a block on the back of the hopper there, bring it back and make a small T, so it looks exactly like that, and then place an item there. All of these are conductive blocks, blocks that conduct redstone. On top of these two blocks, place a redstone line, into this gap here where that grass was, put a repeater. Don't set it, don't right click on it at all. Just keep it to a single pulse. Place yourself a redstone torch onto that and then get a comparator that comes along out and faces into that redstone line. That is gonna be the thing that sorts your system out. Then you need to get a hopper and shift click it into that comparator. It's really important that it points towards that comparator. And then you need to get a hopper there, a hopper there, and a hopper running in. So you can see we've got the nibs of those going downwards, the nib of that is going backwards, and the nib of that is going across. Now the reason for that is things that drop into this hopper here are gonna make a decision. They're either gonna go down, and preferentially they'll go down. Things in hoppers always wanna go down before they go across. But we're gonna use this to filter the items, and if it can't go this way, it'll go that way. And that's how it's gonna work, in that this hopper here, the one that's pointing into the comparator, we want to put some blocks that are never gonna end up in this system. A good way to do that is to rename them in an anvil. I've got these blocks, interestingly named blocks here, and I'm gonna put 11 blocks into each of those four slots right there. And I'm gonna leave this slot bank because that is where the raw chicken is gonna go. You'll notice nothing is moving out of that hopper, and that's because this hopper underneath it is locked. So for example, if I place something in it, it doesn't move. It can't move out of that at all. It just won't allow itself to. So that is why this isn't dragging anything through. And we're pushing the nib into there so as it doesn't go off in any other direction. If we get one more item inside it, that will push this redstone signal to this block, which will push it through, which will return that signal to that redstone torch, which will turn it off, which will unlock that hopper, which will drag these items, raw chicken in this case, straight through. And that is the basics of an item sorter. Now, this block here, this hopper, is where we're gonna have the chickens that grow up to be big chickens. That's where they're going to live. So what we wanna do is we want to place blocks 
all the way around this hopper so things don't glitch through. So we're going to pop a block on there, a block there, we're going to place a block there also, we're going to put a block there, we're going to put a glass block right there, and we're going to put another normal block right there. And we're using this uh, warped wood simply because that's what I'm going to use in the lava version. Warped wood doesn't burn and I figured let's make them with the same materials. You could make this with normal wood or stone or whatever you'd like. As I say this is where the little chickens are going to go but what we want to do is we want to put a slab on top of that hopper there exactly like that. What that would allow us to do is have baby chickens standing on the slab. They're only 0.7 of a block high, so as a result, they don't suffocate when they hit that block. But a grown-up chicken is one block high, and it will suffocate, and that's how it dies. Then put another block on that there, and you want to get yourself a dispenser, and place your dispenser on that block, so as it's facing into that slab. Recover that block over, so as you don't forget, otherwise the system won't work. And we are very nearly done with the mechanical side. We need to do just a very small piece of redstone to make sure that this dispenser here spits anything out that goes into it, otherwise the entire system falls over. And the way we're going to do that is by building up a small platform right here like that. We're going to get ourselves our comparator. We're going to place the comparator facing out of the back of the dispenser. That's going to go into a block and then we're going to get some repeaters, just two. We're going to put a repeater there and a repeater going back into the dispenser then some redstone i make a redstone in a t-shape like that now if anything goes into that dispenser this uh, is going to detect it but we need to right click on it first otherwise it won't subtract the signal that's coming into the side of it from the front of it and it won't switch on and off and that's really important for this spit out system we're also going to build in a system that you can put any eggs into this that you might found lying around. If you've got loads of chickens around, you've probably got some eggs. So remove that block next to this glass. This is an optional part. Pop in a hopper onto that and put in a barrel on top of that hopper. Any eggs that you put in this barrel will be fed into the system and will squirt out baby chicks into that side every probably around about seven eggs. The only other part of this system that we need that to make it functional is to have a feeder. So there, we're putting a hopper into the top of the dispenser, and then we're gonna put a glass block on top of that barrel, and then we're gonna surround this all the way around, literally all the way around, with solid blocks like that. And then we're gonna put another row of solid blocks all the way around the top. Then what we've gotta do is get some chickens inside here. Before we do that, let's just pop a carpet, shift click on top of that. It just makes the chickens a little bit more comfortable. Right, time to get some chickens in. I've built a set of steps that come in from the ground right up to the top of the system here. And I've also put a little trap door, which could be temporary or could be permanent. It's entirely up to you. Just over that, which will just help get these chickens in. I spy some over there. So let's just go and get them. So if you approach chickens holding wheat seeds, they turn into your friend. And we need at least two chickens. So come close and get as many chickens as you can, but at least two. I've got four here that want to follow me. And then walk, not too fast, because they might get bored if you get too far ahead of them. Walk up your set of stairs that you've done up here. I'm just gonna come along and wait for them to catch me up. And I'm just gonna walk up these stairs. They will walk up the stairs as well, up to the top. You can see they're following me along, come the other side of the hole. And if you shift click, they should maybe just start to fall in. One of them's gone. Just give this one a nudge as well. There we go. So we got a couple of chickens in there. The other two look like they got bored, which is absolutely fine. We're now gonna breed these fellas up, and as a result, we'll get baby chickens. Keep breeding them up until you've got, well, not as many as 25, because if you get 25 in there, they'll start to die, but up to 24 chickens. But you can have far fewer than 24 if you wish. You could have just eight chickens, and as a result of that, the farm might even be server friendly, depending on the settings on your server. Obviously, the fewer chickens you've got in the top here, the slower the chicken farm is going to work. Whilst we're waiting to be able to breed out those chickens to get as many in there as we would like, we can start to build up the whole structure of the farm. So come just to the side of the farm here. You can see it pokes out over the front and bring out 
a warp stem. You don't have to do warp stem, but I quite like warp stem because it matches with the wood and make it come all the way across there. And then just block out everything else at the front like that, all the way to the level of these hoppers right there. And then come to the side. And again, on this side, do a warp stem all the way to the top and then we can just fill in those blocks like that. You'll notice we've got this hopper visible. That's really easy to get rid of. Shift click a trapdoor onto that and you are golden. Now, you've got some choices as to how you want to do it on the front here. Now, at the bottom, I tend to do shift click in some of these upside down steps because they just look quite nice when you do it that way, but you don't have to. Uh, you can shift click some right way round steps that way and just pop some shift click on there and then shift click some upside down steps all the way across there so that gives I think quite a nice looking effect on the front and covers up all of that horrible redstone and then all you're going to really do is create a box that goes all the way around the back of this it is really good practice to light up your redstone circuits that way any updates that come from the light from the redstone doesn't cause any lag so always put just a couple of torches inside your building to make sure you don't get any redstone lag updates also it's a good idea just to place three blocks and one on there just to stop anything from being able to glitch through those blocks and then again make sure you make them plenty of light there or they'll end up spawning something and that's not something you want then finish off your box and also pretty good practice to have a doorway so you can stick a door on there and you're ready to go once you've done that you can get yourself a lid. I'm going to use this crimson slab here and we're going to put a lid on top of it all the way along except obviously for that little trap door because we still want to continue to breed these fellas up. So I finished building around the outside and I've put in some completely unnecessary decoration as well with some chains, some kind of crenellations there around the bottom and the top. We've got a doorway so as we can access the redstone if we want to go and see if anything's gone wrong with it. And that at the front just leaves us with our labeled item frames. This for the coal, this for the feathers, and this for the cooked chicken. Nothing come yet, obviously. Pop that coal into there, and you can see inside your smoker that coal starts to feed into the top. This is why I'm saying it really does eat the coal, so do be aware of that. All we need to do now, really, is wait for stuff to squirt into there. Those baby chickens will become big chickens. They will get suffocated in that block above their head they will then drop into the smoker if they drop feathers they drop the feathers into there the smoker will cook the chicken and the cooked chicken sits there you can reload your coal right there you can put eggs into there should you wish to just to get that thing going it's entirely up to you this system works beautifully in minecraft 116.3 and actually works really really well in minecraft 116 any version minecraft 115 minecraft 114 and even earlier versions than that so don't think that it's only one 16.3 plus. We're going to make the lava version now which is a little bit smaller and doesn't take quite as much redstone for obvious reasons but it is slightly less efficient. Let's crack on. This one starts very similarly to the other one so dig out two and pop yourself a chest in. Take out the back and pop in a hopper so as it points into the back of that chest. Now this is where it starts to change slightly. Put a redstone comparator right there and a hopper pointing into that redstone comparator like that. Then we just need to do a little bit of digging. Put a redstone dust there, redstone dust there, dig that out, redstone dust there. Temporarily dig out the ones at the side, all the way along like that, and this one here, get rid of it. Dig yourself in and place yourself your repeater in there. Leave it on one tick, come around, take out that block, place a redstone torch on there, and then hop out of your hole. You can then fill that fella up. You don't need to look at that underneath there anymore. Sorter system already started. Place a barrel facing towards you. It doesn't have to be facing towards you. You could have it that way around if you wish to, but I think it just looks nicer if it's facing towards you like that. Put a hopper shift clicking into the top of that barrel and then another hopper shift clicking into the side of that one. Now this is exactly the same as the sorting system in there. Things are going to come into this hopper and if they can't go downwards, they'll go sideways into the barrel. The only things that can't go downwards will be feathers. So the feathers end up in the barrels because in here we are going to place those interestingly named blocks again. One in there, one in there, one in there, 
one in there. So these here, these four, 11 in each, making a grand total of 44 items. Now this is a bit different because you wanna put cooked chicken into that hole, just one cooked chicken. The other one was raw chicken, this is cooked chicken. If you put raw chicken in it again, it ain't gonna work and you're just gonna get all your chicken and your feathers in the barrel. That is the item sorter complete. We just need to build the system up around it and this system is very similar to that one. Place your warp slab on there. Now this is very important that this does not burn, which is why I'm using the warp slab because it's non burny wood. However, you don't have to use the warp slab. You could use a cobblestone slab if you wish to. Then grab yourself a little bit of glass and place the glass at the front there. The only reason I put glass there is so as I can watch the baby chickens burn. I'm a little bit horrible like that. And then on the side of this, you wanna get yourself again some other non-burny items. You could use glass. I'm going to use this wood here and then place one right there on the bottom. Get yourself your dispenser and place the dispenser so as it is on top of that facing into the slab. You can see the little eyes facing into that slab like that. And then get more non-burny blocks place them all the way around, and then on the top of this one, place a hopper like that. And again, just like this one, we're gonna put an option to be able to place in eggs to the system. You don't have to do this. This is really not absolutely essential, but sometimes you pick up eggs. And if you're not making cakes, you may as well lob them in your chicken cooker. Once you've got that in there, pointing into the dispenser, get yourself another barrel or even a chest I think barrel is better because then you can put a solid block above it rather than an upside down step and pop it in there like that that is absolutely perfect then grab yourself a bucket of lava this bucket of lava is going to sit here just like that and if you look through the glass you'll see the half slab here stops the lava from dropping down into this hole because actually that slab is taking up the whole of that space so the lava hasn't got anywhere to go the chickens are half a slab high, so as a result, when they're babies, they just sit there quite happily, thinking it's quite warm, but when it turns into an adult, it grows up, its head goes into the lava, and it gets a 4,000 degree haircut, gets cooked, and finds itself into this chest. Absolutely perfect. We then just need to build the rest of the system up around it. So just to confirm, like the other farm, we have got exactly the same spitter system that causes that dispenser to spit anything that goes into it out. Remember, always turn that onto the um, subtraction mode by right clicking on it, that little nib should light up, then it will work beautifully. Build up these layers just a little bit, just to avoid any glitching through, because sometimes it does happen, and then build up this too high with a little trap door on the top so as you can tempt your chickens in the same way as we did over there and then like before it's building the system up around it this wall this entire crenellated structure can be replicated here in exactly the same way so let's do that as you can see, exactly the same finish there, but it is quite a lot shorter as a result of it not having to have the height with the smoker, etc. As a result, it then only needs two chains instead of three, but again, they're completely optional. Decorate them how you want. We just need to see how well these work now, so I'm going to set them up with a fair test of both of them running the same number of chickens in the top, which is 16, over an amount of time. Let's see how much chicken and how many feathers we get. Both the systems have got some baby chickens already squirted through, you can see there. And that one, which has been running ever so slightly longer, has got just a couple more. Nothing quite yet inside these um, chests, obviously, because none of the baby chickens have actually grown up. So this takes just 20 minutes to prime, obviously. It needs to prime for these baby chicks to grow. And once it's primed, that will start to produce chicken. So I'm just gonna leave this for a little bit of time and we'll come back to it when we're done. That has been between four and five hours of basic pootling around. So you imagine if you're in your base, you're building something, you're doing something else, you're wandering around, that kind of thing, or you're actually AFK. These things just kind of chug on forever. Now remember, there are advantages and disadvantages to both of these systems. The lava system, you do lose some of the drops. With the bigger system, it does take a few more resources and fuel, but you just need to make your choices in life. Let's have a look first at this one up here. So we've got baby chicks in there already. As I say, you are gonna lose, for whatever reason, some of the chicken in 116.3 does kind of pop into the lava and you lose some of the drops. In terms of feathers, 
we've got what about a stack and a half of feathers and a, just about a stack of cooked chicken after about four hours so it's not amazing it was better in the previous versions but 116.3 has just ever so slightly nerfed these feathers. You can speed it up, of course, if you put more chickens up in the top. But the more chickens you put in the top, the less likely this is to be server friendly. Coming over to the other system, I'd expect a few more to be in here. Yeah, so we've got two and a half stacks of feathers and in here very nearly three stacks of cooked chicken. That's because you don't lose any of the chicken with this one you actually get all of the drops oh look you can see there one of them is going that has activated that there so it started to cook the chicken for you and that will pop itself into there pretty quickly it is a much more efficient system but does take fuel you can see we've got fuel churning in through there like that so be prepared to do lots of coaling Two different systems there that now work beautifully in Minecraft 116. The previous version did end up with a few chickens glitching through the back and you ended up with way more chickens than you thought. So that has been fixed, but it has got various advantages and disadvantages depending on which one you choose. If you have enjoyed this video, please do remember to slap that like button. It'd be great to know you enjoyed them and I will keep on making them. Also, if you've not done it already, please do hit that subscribe button. It'd be great to see you in my sub club and I look forward to seeing you in another video. You take it easy now. Bye.